Hi gang, welcome back to Crazy Life Homestead. I'm Mo, and we are back on the farm with the horses. I have a couple updates. I have our assistant back here, assistant supervisor. I have the supervisor. And then we have all the chickens. Now, just to explain, this is not our farm. We are being lent the backyard to house our horses. We have three horses. I'll explain. Okay, so all the roosters are telling them that we're here. Again, this is not our farm. A co-worker of my husband Greg's has lent us his backyard for the last year to put our horses on. And we have been dealing with all the issues that have been going on this year with the weather and not having a barn. And the horses have survived. They are considered agricultural, livestock, um, and they've come through with flying colors. As you can see, I got all the hair off of her. This is the way she, her confirmation is supposed to look. Let me if I can get a better picture of her. And that's just the way it is. She is a fabulous looking horse. And she's 31 years old. She's doing really great. So I'm going to set up and we got to get these horses fed.
the update on the property is yes we are under contract which is a great thing um, still a long way to go that's just the first step keep the fingers crossed because we need it it is going to be a journey and I hope you stick around long enough to watch this journey because this is this is getting real I'm actually trying to stay calm <laughs> I want to stay calm don't get anxious don't get anxiety comes along with my Hashimoto's but I've kind of got to the point where I just let it go let it go let somebody else handle it I have no idea what I'm doing only the fact that we are in the process of buying property so keep the fingers crossed because we're that much closer there is a renovation package inside this loan that will help us do a couple of things that is required of the house again it needs an HVAC um, I don't know how we're gonna deal with the paint yet but the paint has been painted over so many times I don't know if that's gonna be an issue anymore we don't have small children um, I'm not too concerned about all of that as for right now um, I'm just taking it step by step I am I'm a little nervous I can honestly say I'm a little nervous uh, I still have a lot of work to do the secretary different hat the secretary has a lot of work to do <laughs> um, I do want to start thanking people for their help uh, Shane you've been fabulous he is our agent uh, we get into this place and you will have his contact information I promise you he knows his stuff about agriculture he is a he's a dairy farmer and he he knows what it takes to find this um, Greg was the actual one that found this and uh, Shane has made it work he has he's been phenomenal I there are no other words that I could say he's just been phenomenal he's very well educated in this um, and to tell you the truth he's probably self-taught which makes you more proud of what you do at least that works for me um, the loan officer mark I think that's what your title is I, something like that um, <laughs> mortgage lender mortgage lender um, has also been a huge help uh, I don't know about the people in the background yet uh, underwriters or anything like that I do know that um, there are a few people that I have to thank and you know who you are I'm not gonna mention you um, but you know who you are and you have helped tremendously make this possible uh, it, oh, no words. I can say thank you enough what you have helped create this is helping save the horses you see those three horses behind me and they're they're good horses and I've thought and I have tried my hardest to get them a new home our home and we're on our first step for that so I thank you anonymous people <laughs> for stepping up and helping with that part of it I will keep you updated on what happens uh, again there are no words Greg is Greg's giddy that's all I can tell you is Greg's giddy uh, dinner tonight let's talk about dinner tonight I think we're going to celebrate uh, not sure where they want to go It'd probably be Mexican <laughs> knowing these two um, 
You guys, thank you so much. I'm going to leave you here. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'm going to catch you on the next one. It's all for them. You have to have a reason, right? They're my reason. They're my reason. I have to stay patient. I'm coming up here with you because I want to check the water. I'm sorry about the wind. I can't help the wind. The cube is looking good. It's got bird poop on it, which means the birds are going after it, which is fine. All the animals go after these minerals. They need them just like any other animal does. The water looks fine. I'm going to leave it another day.